People say that a bare wall is begging for art. Because while furniture can create a space's purpose and beauty, art fills it with meaning and a story. Today, we make our way to an art gallery in Alabang to meet with its artist and gallerist, to see her story through her artworks, and get a glimpse of her world of art and design. Hi, Sam. Hello, Angel. Thank you for inviting Philippine Realty TV to your Hi. gallery. <laughs> Please tell us how you started as an artist. I started formally selling my paintings around eight years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, as a kid, I've always wanted to paint and to draw. I've always been painting stones and bottles. My parents were collectors. They allowed me to, I guess, see a lot of different types of art pieces growing up. And then in high school when I studied in the States, I was able to take up drawing and painting, even interior design. After graduating <laughs> college here in San Beda, Alabang, I studied in Central St. Martin. Mm, yes. I was able to take up a lot of uh, art subjects that actually helped me see what type of art is still out there. That's just how I evolved from <laughs> that point to today that I'm able to sell my pieces. Sam, not all artists have a gallery. Well, I inherited a gallery from my, my family. I sort of started eight years ago. And did you think while growing up and, and enjoying the art that, that you're making that you would one day manage her gallery? Never. <laughs> I thought I'd just be teaching children okay. and painting. Mm -hmm. Never really thought of getting into the business. There are a lot of things actually happening in an art gallery. You have to be able to keep up with the times of what people want. What are people looking for? Right now, a lot of people are open to contemporary art. So we try to, to scout artists. We go to art exhibits. We're happy because the paintings that, that we're able to display, they come home to beautiful homes or offices. So there's a painting for every individual property. Definitely. Because art is not something that we have to really sell. It's not a hard sell when it comes to art. Art speaks to a person. And because art is subjective, you know, there's only one person who'll really win with that particular art piece. Have you also teach uh, art classes to children. Please yes. tell us about that. Teaching, I started really young. I started only 18 and you still in school. I was still in school. And then recently, around four years ago, I've made it full time to have it here at the gallery. Uh, we're actually the pioneer uh, art gallery that started it here uh, in Alabang Town Center. Sam, now it's time to check out your paintings. Hanging in the walls of her gallery is a beautiful display of some of her works. Deriving inspiration from everyday life, her works, both abstract and contemporary, give its spectators a feel or vibe of a subject rather than an exact replication. Okay, Sam, now we're here with your paintings. What medium do you use? For all my paintings, it's mixed media. I use a little bit of texture. But you're also very generous <laughs> with your colors. Yes. <laughs> is this a Sam Galvez Lorenzo trademark? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I love colors so much. I can't, as I told you, I can't help it. I personally enjoy creating abstract paintings because it allows me to just express myself however I want and all the colors that, that I want to put in one canvas. I understand you're going to have an exhibit. I'm going to have a back-to-back -back exhibit with an artist friend of mine, uh, Francis Nashon. It's going to be held here at Village Art Gallery. It will be in October. It's going to be all abstract paintings. Sam, let's uh, get some tips from you on how to invest in your first art piece. They have to look for two things first. <laughs> they have to first like the piece that they would like to purchase and if it's something that they are able to pay for. Okay, how about um, putting your paintings in direct sunlight? Just make sure it's not direct sunlight. If there's a little bit of sun, that should be fine. Mm -hmm. How about maintenance? Everything will get dusty through time, so mm -hmm. you can just brush it off a dry brush. That's it. Being an artist, the challenge is really just coming from myself. Being able to please myself now more than anybody else. Art is subjective. I cannot please everybody who steps in the gallery when it comes to my own paintings. That's why we carry several artists also in the gallery to try to make sure that whoever steps in here, they may find something that they need or want. Um, we like it when people 
are also pleasant and when they walk in an art gallery because some people they feel like they have to be a certain way when they come in but actually they don't have to be a certain way they just have to come as they are and then allow the paintings to speak to them also so thank you very much for the warm welcome for allowing us to appreciate and understand your art and the, the artists here at Village Art Gallery as well. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you, Angel. A teacher, an artist, a gallerist. As a professional, Sam Galvez Lorenzo found her uniqueness in all of these. Finding the right balance in work, she creates, showcases, and shares her art and her knowledge of it like no one else.